Dan, I'm going to come to you on this, but it's A underscore Naz here in the comments who, who has reminded me to come to you on this. says, thoughts on Cara's comments about Jota's okay. finishing. Uh, he thought they were a bit exaggerated. Jota was an incredible finisher, but surely not better than Suarez. Uh, and we got this, we had a bit of an off-camera conversation <laughs> on Suarez always wins these. For us, for our generation, the, the best finisher at Liverpool was Robbie Fowler. Yeah. Um, I think Torres is up there. I think Suarez is, is absolutely up there as well. Yeah. So, I... I I don't... It's an interesting point made by Carragher, and the more I think about it, the harder I struggle to disagree with it. Yeah, I get... Yeah, 100%. And I think of this current crop, I would put Jota at the top of that list, and that's Mohamed Salah included, by the way. I just think Jota has this this knack, this goal-scoring knack, and he's just born with it. And Chloe mentions there, just the ability to sort of almost just find yourself in space. You don't have to think about it. It's all of a sudden, oh, I'm here and the ball's with me and there's no defenders around. You're just born with that and Jota has that. I think the the, the debate is interesting. I think Torres one-on-one with goalkeepers. I'd put him top of that list. I think he was the, probably the best out of all of those. Um, Michael Owen probably probably close second, I'd say, um, in terms of that. I think Fowler wins this argument for me, though. And we spoke about it off air, as you mentioned. Just the way in which he went about it as well, Robbie Fowler, was just, just joyous to watch. And he had all all types of goals as well most like Diogo Jota does but I think Fowler is the best natural finisher this football club potentially ever seen mm-hmm. but Jota is definitely in the amongst that conversation and that's credit we're talking about elite forwards here that's credit in itself because it's an incredible brand to be talking about but yeah as for Jota right now clinical deadly ruthless love him he's just Chris, he is. He's, I keep using the expression. He's a killer, and I, I, if nothing else, because we always have to do this. There always has to be like a ranking of X, Y, and Z, and then you know the problem is with it is that there's a lot of people's noses get put out of joint if you start putting Jot at the top of this. But I mean, ultimately, who cares? Because they're not none of these are at the football club anymore anyway. But he, I just think it's great because I agree with this notion. I, I got asked this the, the week about. If any one of your current players are one on one with a knife edge moment, end of a game, they've got a chance to finish it. Who you're giving it to? And I think people outside of Liverpool would go. It would be Salah, wouldn't it? Obviously, but I think increasingly so, Liverpool fans would say Jota for that situation. Yeah, I think and I think they'd be right to as well, wouldn't they? You just know that it's that t- that ability to go two footed. The touch is always there. He's, I wouldn't say he's anywhere near as clean a finisher as someone like a Robbie Fowler, um, but he has every finish in him still. And he he surprises goalkeepers like what you were talking about before about just taking a shot early. Mm. You know what I mean? He, he has the ability to do that. I think he did that last night as well, to be fair, uh, for one of them. Um, and it's that the sort of stuff. Well, yeah. <laughs> for one yeah, of them. <laughs> yeah. um, and it's that ability, isn't it, to just find the back of the net when you when your team needs it. But it's he's he's a lot cleverer football and he's more than just the finisher is, is kind of what I want to say here I think yeah. we lump him in because he's a great finisher that's all he can do it's it's not he's so much more he can, his assist numbers are shite and I've been consistently shite the entire time he's been here but he creates a lot of space for other people uh, in his movements and stuff like that and his runs on the ball um, and I think getting you know Klopp said it last night in the press conference didn't he you know putting Nunes and Diaz in their position 1A meant that Diogo went in to the right wing well who actually you know Diogo turns up going into the right wing and again that's a clever versatile footballer and he's been yeah. that the entire time he's been here he's never been the number one forward we've had Bobby Firmino and Mane and Salah but he's always still managed to get numbers like no sub that I remember in the last 15 years yeah and even that the thing doesn't even necessarily mean like off the bench it's not even a super sub thing this is it it's like he's he was the fourth he really, yeah, he elevated what our offering was in terms yeah. of the old school front, front three in that you could take any of them lads out of the 11 and put him in and it wasn't like dropping Divock in who was stylistically the complete opposite type of footballer to what we were looking for. He could just come into any of them and, 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 and do a And, and there's a it. knock-on effect of that, isn't there? It, it means that your front three become better because they're not they're a little bit more rested. So their numbers are actually... It, better because Jota comes in and yeah. plays well do you know what it is sorry it's his decision making Jota at times as well because it's, he knows when to choose the pass when it might not be on necessarily for him he's not selfish in any way shape or form but it's his choice of finish as well I can't I'm racking my brain trying to think of a moment where he got the choice of finish badly wrong it just doesn't exist mm. he gets it right 
like 99 times out of 100 he's unbelievable in front of goal you know what he is as well Chloe he's a bit of a prick and in the yeah, best possible way you know like and so I see the comparisons Fowler Owen I throw a little bit of Suarez in there a bit of Bellamy in there he loves he just loves a scrap and that's another thing you know that's a, you see that with Darwin Nunes you see it with Luis Diaz we've seen it with some of the great players that play for Liverpool over the years the ones you take most to your heart he's got the best song of any Liverpool player right now as well Um, I just Think yeah, he's great. It's just one of them. Maybe pays the price for his versatility a touch. If he was half a yard faster, I think he'd be more guaranteed starting places across the front three. But he never, he very rarely ever lets us down, and he and he scores a, a ton of goals while he's doing it as well. Yeah, he does. He really embodies exactly what you want on that football pitch. He gives everything. He's he's so technically unbelievable. Um, but also, like you said, there he gives a bit back. Think of Leicester when he literally <laughs> gave it to their end after he scored the the penalty that sent us through. He absolutely lives for it. He's not if. If someone would have put one on Darwin Nunes or put one on Mo Salah, Diego Jota's going to put one on you next. Yeah. Um, and that's what I really like about him. He stands. He doesn't mind getting a yellow card if necessary. Um, we saw that against Spurs where he decides to get two. Um, and he just, for me, he just embodies what I want on the pitch. Um, and like you said, there, in, in the moments where we really need to depend on him, he's always there, literally banging in the goals in any way. And he's got every type of finish that you could possibly get the one against Arsenal that was re- referenced where he goes they, they give the ball to us he goes around one defender goes around Adam Ramsdale and then puts it in the back of the net or you've got the other one the other day where he just side foots it from outside the area into the bottom corner um, it, there's so many finishes uh, for, for Diego Jota to score with and yeah he's just superb just great yeah thoughts on the the uh... Jamie Carragher comments then, where do you think Jota places in terms of Liverpool's all-time great finishes? Because, yeah, I, I, I agree with the sentiment. More games will help yeah. because you'll be able to definitely sort of clear it up. But yeah, I, I, think, he's, I think he's a brilliant finisher. 